What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out an all new update for its calendar application, which brings in some cool new features. As you can see, the version number is 12.4.00.1.0.0. The update was received on 14th September, 2022. Now I'm not sure whether this update has arrived on all different models of Galaxy phone. This is the S22 Ultra I have here. This is the Snapdragon variant, and this is running on One UI 5.0 beta. I did check this update on the Note 20 Ultra, which is the Exynos variant, and which is on One UI 4.1. I did not see this update there. Do let me know whether you have received this update or not. Now let's check out the change log here. It uh, talks about sticker on Google account. Title and menu value change depending on sharing status. Support for invitation to invited schedule. Support for video call. Calendar widget on Dex. Now this calendar widget on Dex I'm going to share probably in the next video because I am making a dedicated video for all those changes, all those improvements that we have got as far as Dex is concerned on One UI 5.0. So stay tuned for that video. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the changes. On the right, I have got the S22 Ultra with the updated version of the app. On the left, Note 20 Ultra with the previous version of the Samsung Calendar application. Now Samsung has added sticker support on Google account as well. Now to demonstrate this, let me just tap on this plus button to create an event. As you can see, I have got my Gmail account here. Now on the top right corner, you can see we have got sticker support right here on the newer version. Whereas on the previous version, we did not have that. So whenever you are creating an event with your Google account, we will get the sticker support as well. It's a minor change. I'm not sure how many of you guys would find it useful. This is what we have got. Now, as you can see all these options here, we have got location, we have got the Gmail ID mentioned here. We have got the time here for reminder. Then we have got don't repeat option. Then we have notes. And then you see we have got video conference. Now we have got video conference option on the all new version. Let me just tap on this. As you can see, it is showing me Google Meet option since I'm creating this event with Google account. This video conference option wasn't there before. Now, let me just tap on invitees on both these versions and I'll invite someone else for this event. I'll just add my email ID here. As you can see on the previous version, we don't have any options here. Whereas on the newer version, we have got these check boxes by selecting which we can enable the invitees to invite other people and see all invitees list as well. Just in case, if you don't want to allow your invitees to invite other people, or let's say if you don't want your invitee to see the invitee list, if you want to keep it private, then you can just uncheck these boxes. Basically, these are the permission features which have been added with this all new update. These are some of the features which Samsung has added on this all new version of Samsung calendar application. As I mentioned earlier, I will be posting a dedicated video for Samsung DeX. I will be showing you guys what has really changed with this all new version of Samsung DeX on One UI 5.0 with this calendar widget as well. So stay tuned and be sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to know your phone better. That's about it. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.